Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the best countries in the world for cubing by Kinch Score. Now, as well as just the best countries, I'm also going to be looking at the MVP solvers in that country by looking at which solvers in that country have the highest Kinch and which solvers have gotten the biggest, you know, highest scoring records. But first, for the uninitiated, what is Kinch? Kinch score is a way of quantifying your cubing performance in an event by putting it on a number from a scale from 0 to 100. The way it works is the world record result as a percentage of your PR. So say there's a hypothetical event where the world record average, because Kinch uses average, is 10 seconds. And your personal record is 20 seconds. Well, 10 is 50% of 20, so your Kinch would be 50. If you were the world record holder, it would be 100. If you'd never competed in the event, your Kinch would be zero. Now I said that Kinch uses average, this is mostly true except for blind defense and FMC, where it actually just picks single or average based on which is the highest scoring for you. Right, so with that right out of the way, let's jump straight into the list. Much to Denmark's chagrin, Sweden is able to pull itself up into the number 10 spot. Now, Sweden's highest ranking events are all the 3x3 spin-off events, 3 blind, FMC, and one-handed, and the country also scores pretty well relative to itself in 4x4 and 4 blind. Now, I think the MVP could be one of two people for Sweden. It could be Jacob Gunnarsson, while currently only having NR in two events, <laughs> only two, he ranks in the top 10 for every single event except for Pira and the big blinds, including multi. And he has a total of 38 national records to date. He's definitely done a lot for Sweden. The argument against him is Daniel Wallen, who on his own has a kinch of 62.38 to Jacob's 54 score. Daniel Wallen, in fact, is fifth in the world for individual kinch score. Though before we go on to the next country, I want to quickly give credit to the NR holders in the events that Sweden ranks highly in, notably Tony Belgio in 4x4, Theodore Nordstrand in fewest moves, Daniel Wallen Arvidsson in one-handed, Samuel Eklund Hanna in clock, and Daniel Wallen in four blind. So let's move on up to number nine. I will admit, I was surprised to see it, but congratulations to Malaysia for sitting in the top 10 with a little bit of room to spare. The highest score for Malaysia is a perfect 100, thanks to Hilpong Yongfeng's five blind world record. However, Malaysia also scores pretty well in 6x6, 7x7, one-handed, and 4-blind, naturally. Uh, you know, the 4-blind result, shockingly, is set by the 5-blind world record holder, though Lim Hung has the national record for 6x6 and 7x7, and he's second in one-handed in the nation, just being edged out by T. Ka Yang. The clutchest cubers in the region are Hilpong Yongfeng, T. Ka Yang, and Lim Hung, who each hold three national records, including Malaysia's highest records, and also this person who's, I, I'm, I'm not gonna try and pronounce his name because I'm gonna butcher it, like it, it's gonna be downright disrespectful how badly I've messed this up, so sorry, I'm not gonna say that. Okay, yeah, and the guy with the highest kinch rank is Hilpong Yongfeng. Unsurprisingly, turns out dominating blind is very good for kinch. With number eight out of the way, let's see who sits ahead of them. Just barely beating out Malaysia by four hundredths of a point is the host of this year's World Championship, South Korea. Now, Korea has good n by n results, courtesy of Sung Huk Nam placing top five in the world for all of those events. Third in the world for 5x5, 6x6, and 7x7, actually, and fifth for 4x4. Four four. In 5 6, 7 he just trails behind Timon Goloshinsky and Max Park, and <laughs> that gets you a lot of points. The other events that Korea excel in are One-Handed and Mega Minx, with records being held by Yu Chan Hong and Kyo Min Trey, respectively. While Shang Hak Nam is responsible for a lot of Korea's score with the N by N results, he doesn't actually have the highest individual kinch in the country. That honor goes to Dong Soo Park with a 53.01 kinch to Song's 42.06. Now with three countries down for number seven, we're going to be going to an entirely new continent. Argentina, home of Megaminx enthusiasts, it sits nicely in the 7th place spot. Of course, 
LML's superhuman Mega Mix skills help out in this immensely, though the country is actually overall very well rounded. While three blind and one handed are also standout events, you can count on one hand the amount of events with less than 70 Kinch score. Argentina is really consistent across the board. The three blind and one handed national records are held by Manuel Gutman and Theo Golubov, respectively, who are also number two and number one Argentinians for Kinch rank, Manuel with a 53.88 Kinch and Theo with 55.70. I knew Argentina was good at Mega Minx, I didn't realise it was this good at cubing as a whole, and also so well-rounded, which is a trait that a lot of the higher-up countries also share. But without much else to say about Argentina, let's move it on to number 6. No, no, Rule Britannia is not the national anthem, but it's better than the national anthem, so I'm going to play it. First to break past the 75 score mark with a 75.94 is my homeland, the United Kingdom. It's coming home. <laughs> well, we are noticeably less well-rounded than Argentina, though we have specialty events in FMC, one-handed, clock, and both of the minxes. The FMC score comes from national TV star Harry Savage, one-handed from Nicholas Archer's European record, Mega Minx from Sean Moran, clock from the Flip God Sham, although I do believe she's switched to Seven Simmel. Pyraminx from the 2022 IED Wonder Kid, Daniel Partridge. Is my bias showing at all? A little bit. A little bit. The best individual kinch scores in the nation go to Daniel Partridge with a 52.12 and Fabio Schwand with a 53.27. Right, right, I've been British enough for one video. It is not my largest demographic. I will lose viewers. Let's move on. Canada, oh Canada, sitting proudly top 5 in the world. Again, a very consistent country by the scores, though they do have two peaks when it comes to Kinch, being the usual suspects, 3 blind and 1 handed. 3 blind is held by the top notch blinder Elliot Kobolanski, 1 handed by Kian Mansa. Wait, it's still Kian Mansa? Okay, fair play Kian. Goat status for a reason. Though, the highest individual Kinch is. Neither of those, however, it's Ryan Wu with a 49.94, just up ahead of Antoine Canton's 47.15, which is very, very closely followed by Elliot Kobolanski's 46.92. Rather interestingly, it's a well-rounded country that doesn't have somebody with a very high kinch score, so it's not like they have an all-rounder who's really good at cubing, they just have somebody who's good at each event. But as we leave Canada behind and head on to fourth place, we enter our fifth continent of the video. Your World Championship 2019 hosts, home to the greatest Cuba to ever do it, and also the guy who dropped a cube once, the land down under is the first country over 80 score. Australia's best events are all of the N by Ns, including 2x2, two two, FMC, Pyraminx, and Scorn. The 2x2 two two score is courtesy of Phoenix Patterson, though 3x3 three three, all the way through to 7x7 seven seven are still held by the man himself, Felix Zemdegs. The blindfolded score comes from the recently set world record from Charlie Eggins, fewest moves naturally from Jaden McNeil, former world record holder, and the pyraminx times were set by Sebastian Lee. Square one, the infamous David Epstein. And of course, the top kinch score in the country. Who could have guessed it? It's Felix Zemdegs in first, 62.28. Second place is Jaden McNeil, 51.63. Oh, who's third place? Okay, it's Riley Dexter, 51.11. That one I actually wouldn't have guessed. I mean, is it an understatement to say that Felix has done the most for Australian cubing? Or he's done the most for cubing as a hobby, never mind Australia. Polska Guron, it seems. Clutching up a podium place, we have a country with such notorious competition scrambles over the years, it became a part of cubing vocabulary. Polish scrambles may or may not be real, but Poland's success definitely is. With top-notch results in 3x3, thanks to Timon's tied world record 2, world-class end by end performance, again, thank you Timon, and high-ranking clock results thanks to... that guy. So naturally, it's not going to surprise you when Timon has the highest individual kench, it's 54.06, thank you for asking. And in second and third place we have, um... <sighs> yeah, just, just read the names. Oh, no, I can't pronounce this. Top two. Oh. 
In second place, for now, is a country that's holding its first competition since COVID began... ...today. <laughs> Right, so by the time I publish this video, it's going to be outdated, awesome, incredible, alright. But what makes China tick? They're pretty high ranking overall, but there's nobody with a particularly high individual kinch, like the Felix Zemdegs had or Daniel Partridge had. I mean, the highest is this Max guy with a 46.47. Now, I'm not about to read out the entire NR list for China, so I'll just shout out the events with a score above 88, and apologies in advance for any bad pronunciations. Right, so, event, score, record holder. Ready? 3x3, three three, 100, Yi Heng Wang. 2x2, two two, 89, Yi Heng Wang. Fewest moves, 94, Yi Wei Lu. One-handed, 89, Ru Hong Zhu. Clock, 91, Yun Hao Lu. Very, very impressive results for a country that doesn't host competitions. All right, but just like the opening band, nobody cares about second play, so let's jump ahead a little bit and talk about first. Is anybody surprised? Anyone? Someone in the back maybe? Anybody surprised? With an incredibly clean sheet, perfect 100s in all but three events, the United States of America is demolishing the competition. A clear 14 kinch score ahead of second place. USA is the first country to break the 85, 90 and 95 barrier. Now the MVP race for the States has to be between Max Park and Stanley Chapel. Park, of course, has world record 2 in 3x3 and then world record in 4, 5, 6 and 7. Stanley Chapel has the highest individual kinch score in the world. An egregiously high 73.96. Second place, actually, is Tommy Cherry with 69.33. Uh, those are actually first and second place in the world as well as the United States. These two together hold four of the United States' 14 perfect 100 scores. Now, if you add the state's third place kinch scorer, and the world's fourth place, Carter Kukala, with 64.26, that goes up to five 100 scores. Now, the world record holders from the US that I'm yet to shout out <laughs> are Ezra Shear in Pyraminx, Patrick Ponce in one-handed, Max Shaw in square one, and Graham Siggins in multi-blind. I mean, this country has most of the best all-rounders that are out there, as well as some of the best event specialists. Nobody does blind and clock like Tommy Cherry does. Nobody does end by end like Max Park does. There are so many people and so much high-level competition in the US, it's, it's practically unfair. Oh, and a quick addendum that will definitely not age well. If you're watching this video the day it releases, then tomorrow a one week long tournament starts on c4p.swiftcubing.com. It's a champion of champion brackets in what is basically a Flappy Bird game, but you can play for particular YouTubers, and the YouTuber you play for will gain points. Over a week, whichever YouTuber accumulates the most points wins. Now, I have a pretty good stakes in this competition, but my main rival, well, he's just this far away from getting the world record for most cubes accumulated in a week. And he's also over four times my size, so I'm trying to enlist everyone I can to come in and help me out. Um, so obviously if you're watching this within a week from when it released, see foppy.swiftcubing.com, it will be linked in the description. Please go and play for Swagwood Cubing. 